Something? I got a couple rounds. Nothing better. Yeah, go nuts, man. I'm gonna carry you, carry your shit. I want to carry mine. Oh, that feels good. I hate the sex. I hate the sex. Yeah. Very solid. Yeah, that was yours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Man! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If this is your first time here to my humble little channel, welcome. If you are familiar with my channel, welcome home, sit back, relax. Man, we had a, a, a really great time at the range the other day, man. A lot of people showed up. GPS range, man. GPS range is absolutely one of the best places that you could possibly be to go and not only shoot, but meet great people in a great atmosphere in a great safe environment. It's really, really, really ridiculous. They have the, they have the system in there that filters just about almost all the lead out of the range when you're actually firing filters almost all of it out. You can actually see it. When you shoot, you can see the smoke from the gun or, or, or from, from, the, um, from the explosion go up. It's not just hanging around. It kind of like goes up, man. That's the filtration system, getting everything out of the air so we don't breathe it in. And even if you do, and once you finish shooting, you should always take like a cold cloth or cold uh, paper towel and wipe out the inside of your nose. You don't want to ingest that stuff. When you wash your hands, make sure you use cold water. When you de-lead, always de-lead after you shoot. Never just go home and or just go out and go eat something. Wash your hands, de-lead your hands first and use cold water. Why cold water? I'm close. Cold water won't allow your pores to open up and potentially allow the lead to seep in like warm water, right? Good tip, good tip. Always use cold water when you de-lead, okay? When you wash your hands off after shooting, use cold water. So, we had a great time at the range, man. A lot of people showed up. I brought um, one, of my, one of my personal, personal, personal friends, man. He, he, he came through, he picked up a firearm. I actually, he actually should have got it sent to the range and that would have been a lot easier, but he picked up a firearm. And for the most part, man, the majority of people that I bring to the range end up being members because the range is, absolutely awesome the people are awesome the environment is awesome and they enjoy the atmosphere it's nothing that i'm presenting that's absolutely like that may be fake or disingenuine because i don't know how to be because i can't remember how i was <laughs> i can't remember the way i acted with that particular person or that particular person whenever we met so i am who i am all the time that's the best part that's the best part i guess about me that i am going to be genuine every single time you meet me and they usually end up joining man they usually end up picking up a, a membership and they usually end up joining and coming back because it's a great place to be you don't know the, uh, no that man is the right. legend just a great you hear me yo so i brought this guy in yesterday right right i brought this in yesterday i picked this up right here i picked this up at oaks the last time i was at oaks i picked that up i thought it was going to be too big but it's actually very very comfortable and i can get a very good grip on the gun when i'm actually firing it worked out very well i hope i didn't mess up my mic mike you still with me cool let's get this done magazine is absolutely clear it's a five round 20 gauge shotgun shell magazine you charge it just like an ar with an ambidextrous slide i'm sorry the amb ambidextrous charging handle bop, bop. take this and you rock it back and in boom <laughs> that's it it's in it's ready to go so this is an unbelievably fun shoot at the range seriously i was shooting and i can't tell you how many times people came over 
to find out exactly what I was shooting. They had no idea what was shooting. All they heard was the noise. And in the range, when you have big toys, people come over and they want to see exactly what you're shooting. They want to see what you got because maybe they're interested in it or they like, wow, that's, they never seen it before, but it's always a good time to have a boomer at the range. So man, you know how we do it. Tip to tip, butt to butt. Let's get it in. It has, it has like a muzzle device on, on the front. It really doesn't do too much. It actually just screws right off. So I tightened it up before I came on, but it looks really good. Covers up the, um, it covers up the barrel that's in there. It gives it a nice rugged look. Shout out to, um, yo man, shout out to GPS range, man, for letting me come in there and just act a straight up fool. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to GPS range, man, for having me, you know what I'm saying? For having me, you know what I'm saying? And let me do what I do, man. Straight up, there's some really great people, man. Seriously, I ain't gonna hold you. Tip to tip, butt stock, the butt stock. This is, it's a, it's like a grill. Can you see that guys? Can you see that? Can you make that out? It's like a shroud. You want to call it a shroud? You want to call it a shroud? It covers up the barrel. Just gives it a more aggressive look. Um, has a Picatinny rail running across the top. I didn't put anything on it. And I probably won't put anything on it for real, for real because these are actually pretty good. Um, maybe if I find a optic that is like, you know, inexpensive or anything like that, I'll be, um, I'll probably pick it up. Just, I may, yeah, it, it really doesn't call for um, a red dot optic for real, seriously. And especially nothing expensive for real, for real. Unless you want to transfer it over to uh, home because it can definitely serve as home protection. It's a 20 gauge shotgun and you can pump um, slug through it. You can pump buck through it. You can pump, you can pump bird through it. It took just about everything that we fed it. N when, n n let me, let me rephrase that. It took everything that we fed it. Absolutely took everything that we fed it. And um, we only had one issue and I'll get to that uh, toward the end of the um, toward the end of the um, the episode, man. So, across the top, you have your you have your sights. These sights actually came with it, and they are adjustable. You can adjust the drift and the drift adjust the height as well. Comes with this charging handle, and I think you can swap this charging handle out for something else if you would like. I believe you can. It pulls the shotgun shell in there just like a um just like an AR or just like a bullpup will pull a um a 223 a 223 556 or anything like that that carries with a bolt. Close that bolt down, it sends that bullet into the chamber and then you're ready to go. So what you could do, this is a five-round magazine right here. So you can load this up just like you would a, a semi-auto um a semi-auto handgun, load it up with five, slam it in, not slam it in, but put it in, take it back out, load another one up, now you got six, all right? Just like a, that's like a regular handgun, now you got six. So, six rounds out of here, ain't bad, because this is absolutely accurate. I had such a great time with this. This is actually an 18 inch, this is actually an 18 inch barrel. Look at that, look at the size of it. That's why I like bull pups. Bull pups, all the action is in the back. All the action is in the back, okay? The trigger, the tr everything, everything that needs this, that has to operate this gun is in the back. So the, man, I am not an engineer. By far am I an engineer, but I know what works and I know what doesn't work. This works. <laughs> this idea, this idea absolutely works and because I like this platform so much, I'm actually looking into possibly getting a bullpup for a 5.56 because I like it. You can't feel it. Even though, don't get me wrong, 20 gauge is a formidable round. It is a formidable round. It is a formidable round even if you wanted to transfer it over to uh, hunting or you wanted to do home protection. It could protect your home beyond a shadow of a doubt. Let's not get it twisted. 12 gauge is definitely dope. And I would love to see how 12 gauge fires through a bullpup. Because if it fires as soft as the 20, it's a no brainer. Why else would you ever want anything else other than a bullpup? But back to the 20 gauge, the 20 gauge is such a, it's such a formidable cartridge for protection and hunting. I don't hunt, 
me personally, I really don't hunt. Um, I don't feel the need to kill anything that isn't harming me or isn't serving me a purpose as far as uh, me sustaining my life or sustaining my family's life. So I don't hunt. I don't hunt, but I do like to shoot. I do like to shoot. So the 18, I'm sorry, the, the 20 gauge round is a formidable round and can sit alongside of the 12. The 12 gauge has more power, but the 20 gauge is the equivalent. Let's say if you're firing, the 20 gauge is the equivalent to maybe about, I would say maybe about four or five, nine mils, four or five, nine millimeter bullets or cartridges fire what equivalent is the equivalent to one shot of buck i'm sorry one side of slug through your 20 gauge at least it's a very it's a very nice um projectile seriously and, and it works it works 12 gauge and if you put a um let's say you put a different buck a double out buck you can run that through here too um if you if you shoot bird i shot bird and because i was shooting bird the pattern stayed pretty much solid because I didn't let it, I didn't let the target get far enough where it could spread out. So in your home, if you were using, if you were using bird to protect your home, you can absolutely use it. Absolutely. And depending on where you are and um, uh, uh, confronting the element in your home, they're definitely going to feel it. They're definitely going to feel it. So. If you hit, if you had bird in there or had a slug in there, it's a bad day. This is business. This is business regardless, regardless of how you call it, regardless of what you say, regardless of whether it's a 22 or a 25 or a 20 gauge or a 12 gauge or nine, this is the business and you don't want to be in front of that. No bad guy want to be in front of that. So it has a, we're back at the slide. So this, so you you charge it. You charge it just like an AR, pulls back, and it opens up. It will lock back because the magazine is in there. It has a cover to have the projectiles because you are resting here. If you're resting here, you don't want the, you know what I'm saying? You don't want the shells to come up and smack in the face. So they hit this. I, I haven't gotten hit with a shell because it comes up and this this protection right here sends it out. So it doesn't it doesn't hit me. It doesn't hit you. It doesn't hit you. It doesn't hit me. It has picatinny underneath the bottom. I neglected to say that. It has picatinny all along the sides where I put these nice and expensive accoutrements on there because, like I said, this is not a super expensive firearm. It is not a super expensive firearm, and I didn't feel the need to um, adorn it with uh, 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 a EOTech or a SIG or anything like that. Just, I mean, regular smuggler. It's going to be in the house and it's going to be fun. And that's it. That's it. So I wanted to know if it could have, man, I, um, we're good. We'll get into that into a, a, another video here. This right here is your magazine release. Push that in magazine slides out. Right here is your adjustable cheek right here. So you can adjust this up right here, put it up so you can be comfortable when you're firing. Nice and comfortable. That is a very good picture. That's a very good picture without an optic. It's a very good picture. And trigger's pretty good. You wanna see the trigger? You wanna see the trigger? Do the people wanna see the trigger? Let's see the trigger then. Let's make sure we are clear. Let's Make sure we are clear. You know what? Let's take this out because it's going to get pulled up anyway next time. So here's the trigger. Here's your safety right here. This right here is your safety. That's safety on. That right here is safety on. Right here. Safety off. Okay. And here's the trigger. That's it, right? Not bad. Reset. I think, was that the reset? That's the reset. Back again. So, it has like a little bit of a sound that made me think it was the reset, like this. Let me see if it'll do it again. 
See that? I thought that was the reset. That would be incredible if it was, but it's not. That's the reset, which isn't too far off. And back at it. So let's do it again, much smoother. Okay. Here we go. Up, reset, back down. So it looks actually pretty good. And at the range, I was dumping um, as fast as my finger could move. That's how fast it was dumping. So it has, I had what, five, six in there. So it was, you know, and it was good. It was good. It was good. It didn't jam up. The only thing that I could actually, oh, it's got cutie mounts too. There's one right here. There's a cutie mount right here. And I, you can, you could probably attach it to something up here or get a, um, they have um, M lock and Picatitty QD mounts. So you could actually run a, um, a QD mount somewhere around here. I thought it was another one up here. Maybe I'm just missing it, or you can just run it through, through around here. But the issue that I was coming up against was with the magazine. So the magazine would cycle and it would cycle very well until it didn't. And it didn't meaning it was the 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 lip the lip of the of the of the shell was getting caught it, the lip of the shell was getting caught back here so one of the um one of the one of the guys there suggested that you know you file down in here so it wouldn't get caught because you can actually see where it gets caught on there but while i was when I'm, when, when i was um trying to figure out exactly what was going on and I was doing my detective work when I would put the round in and I would load it a certain way it fed it and it didn't hang up so I think maybe I don't want to fault the magazine I don't want to fault ATI I'm thinking on user I'm thinking on user error but as you can see it was actually you know right here this is no error to me it was actually rubbing in there somewhere so it was rubbing somewhere in here but nonetheless the gun still fired the gun still cycled it still took everything that i fed it and we had a great time had a great time so if you are interested in the ati bulldog i would say have at it i would say have at it because it was very good it was a very good time at the range, man. It cycled. It is a crowd pleaser. People want to know what you're shooting. And it's fun. It's absolutely fun. This is a fun gun to shoot. It's, it's not too often that you can say that a 12 gauge or uh, a 12 gauge or a shotgun or 20 gauge or a shotgun is fun to shoot. This is fun to shoot. It was actually it was absolutely fun to shoot. I found myself actually running back out to the car to get more rounds because I didn't realize how fun to shoot was going to be. It's that fun. And it's a 20. So we could do double duty. You can have fun at the range, come back home, clean it out if you like, and set it up for your home defense. This, this is perfectly, perfectly, perfectly capable of handling double duty and home defense. So if you're hearing the rattle, that's not the gun. It came with this, um, there's a little piece in there. That right there is the, I think that is the, that's this thing right here. That's this thing right here. It's not the gun. The gun is actually pretty solid, but it came with this from Oats. So I just keep it in there and I'll probably end up keeping like another round in there. I'll, end, I'll keep another round in there, but that's it, man. That's all I got. ATI Bulldog. ATI Bulldog. It's good to go. Stamp of approval? Absolutely.